Hello everybody, welcome to this B2 first certificate, that's FCE writing video course. In this lesson we're going to be focusing on part two, the article. And so what we'll look at in the next few minutes is an example question. I'll show you how to critique an example answer. I'll give you some advice for writing an article. I will also show you the critique that an examiner will give on an example answer. And finally, we'll correct some mistakes and have a few more general tips about writing an article. So let's get started. Here is an example article question. And this has come from the Cambridge English First Handbook for Teachers. If you type this address into your web browser and go to page 31, you will find a page which looks like this. And it says, you see this announcement on an English language website. Articles wanted. The most useful thing I have ever learned. What is the most useful thing you have learned? Who did you learn it from? Why is it useful? Write us an article answering these questions. We will publish the best articles on our website. Write your article. So, this is an example question. When you're faced with an article in the exam, if you choose to write about this, then there is some good advice given to you in this Cambridge English First Handbook for Teachers. And that is that an article is usually written for an English language magazine or newsletter. The reader is assumed to have similar interests to the writer. Okay, so we know who the target audience is, which is very important. The marking criteria. Know your target audience. Target audience, English language magazine or newsletter. And this will determine the type of language that you need to use. The main purpose is to interest and engage the reader. So there should be some opinion or comment. So you can give your own opinions and use personal pronouns, that's fine. So you need to use animated language with first person thoughts to keep the reader interested. You can also do things like ask the reader questions to keep them engaged. That is a very good tactic. You can write a question to the reader. Keep them involved. Use animated and lively language. And here is an example answer. So what I'd like you to do now is to have a look at this writing criteria here, which is how the examiners will mark this, S this article. And you need to give a mark from one to five, one being bad and five being good, for each of these criteria on the left hand side. Content, communicative achievement, organization, and language. So you need to read this article and then give it a mark from one to five for each of those four criteria and also write your comments. So I will leave this table on the screen, but you should type in this web address into your web browser and go to page 40 so that you can read this article. So pause this video now and type this address into your web browser, go to page 40, and when you've done that, press play. Okay, 
So hopefully you've done that. And I also advise you to write down this table here onto a piece of paper. So you can read this article from the web address which you've just opened. And while you're reading it, you can write your marks and your comments in this table on your sheet of paper. So pause this video now, complete this table from the article, and when you've done that, try you can spend as long as you want on this. Try to make it as detailed as possible in your comments. And when you've done that, press play and we will continue. Okay, so hopefully you've done that. Now what we are going to do is to have a look at what a real examiner said about this article. So as you can see, he said at the top, all content is relevant and the target reader is fully informed and he's given that a five, which is top marks for content. Communicative achievement, organization and language are all three. So all in the middle. So you should pause this video now, have a look at this examiner's marks and see if they're the same as the marks that you gave the article. And also have a read of this information in more detail because it will help you to understand exactly what the examiners are looking for in the exam. So it's a really useful thing to do. And I've underlined some of the most important points but you should pause this video now and read all of this commentary and compare it with your own. And when you're ready, press play. Okay, so hopefully you've done that. And I hope that that's really useful for you to understand what the examiners are looking for from articles and try to think about this when you're writing some practice articles for homework. Now, when I was reading this article, I noticed that there are some mistakes with the language that the writer uses. And so I've written down these mistakes here. And what I'd like you to do is to pause this video now and see if you can correct these mistakes. Maybe they are grammatical, maybe they're spelling mistakes, or maybe it's just difficult to understand. So pause the video now, see if you can correct the mistakes. And when you've done that, press play. Okay, so hopefully you've done that. And now we can have a look at some of my corrections. So, in the first sentence, we needed to say languages, plural. Languages, plural. These is always with a plural. This is always with a singular. And I actually did a YouTube video about this recently. And I'll put the description for that, the web address for that video in the description with this video. The word also is not spelt correctly. Also should be spelt with one L. The third one, we need to say subtitles, plural. Not just one, but many subtitles. Watching is spelt incorrectly in the fourth one, it needs a C. In the fifth one we say movies in English. It's the wrong preposition, we need to say in, not on. Stranger from other countries. Should actually be strangers from other countries. Plural, and plural. Competitions is spelt wrong, 
should be spelt with a T instead of two S's. T I T I O N S. High school should have a space between it. It's not one word, but it's two words. And in the final one, definitely is spelt with an I after the F and an I after the N and an E between the T and the L. So the spelling was incorrect for this sentence. Okay, so here are some final thoughts about writing an article. The language that the writer uses for an article and the language that you should use should be informal. So different to an essay. It should be informal writing. You can write in the first person saying, I think, I do this, I know this, I, 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 using personal pronouns. And you can ask the reader questions. As I said earlier, that's a very good way to keep the reader engaged in your writing. Are there paragraphs? Yes. You should use paragraphs when you're writing an article. Anything else to think of? You can give your article a title. I advise you to do that. It's more engaging for the reader. And you should make it lively. You should speak directly to the reader in your writing. So ask them questions and try and keep them really engaged in what you're doing and what you're saying. Okay, so for homework, I would like you to write an example article. And you can find some example articles by going to this page here. Some example questions. And if you send that question to questions at studentlanguages.com, if I have time, I will mark it for you and give you feedback. I just ask that it's okay for, for you if I can put these articles on my website. So if you're not happy with me doing that, it's probably better not to email me the article. Because if I receive it, I will assume it's okay to post it on my website. Also, if you would like to book live lessons with me to practice this part or any other part of the B2 First Certificate, FCE exam, then you can go to this page on my website and fill out the form and I will be in contact with you about my lessons. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope you found it useful. In the next video lesson I'm going to show you the best tips and techniques for writing a report. So I'll see you in the next lesson guys. Bye bye.